it! Fuck off, Mr. Fong! I told you to fuck off, Mr. Fong! You fucking cunt! I will say this only once. Where is my son? <laughs> Make him pay, Dad. Don't worry, Lash. I will. <laughs> Great! Oh! No, please! Snip. 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 Oh! No! Inside the penis. Ah, ooh. Ah, no! Penis. Oh, penis. Well, well, well. You've really taken bad care of your body, haven't you? Such a waste. One thing I'll say for Timothy. She's a fucking good cook. <laughs> but you'd know all about that, wouldn't you, eh? eh? Daddy, you... you did this? Turns out that both me and Judy have a score to settle with you. Why? I just wanted to spend some quality time with my son. Well, that's very nice of you, Daddy. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Oh. It wasn't fit as a compliment, you twit! Get off me! Get off me, you... What was that? You want more? No! Yes? No! Okay! No. Yes. Here's more for you! Ah! 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 No, please! No more, Daddy! No more, please! Was that more? You want more? No! Oh, you're a bad boy! Ah! 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 Oh. This is for every time I've had to take your nappy to the fucking bin. Every time I had to deal with your shit and your childish crap. And you know what, Finish? I've had enough. You have scarred me for life. You're scarring me too! Oh, fuck off, Peanut! <laughs> Judy, Judy, it's me, it's Funny Penny. Oh, what are you doing? Get out of my way! I have something to tell you. Well, whatever it is, it will have to wait until Peanut is dead. That is it. You don't know the truth about your father and Pierce. What has my father got to do with this? He's been lying to you, and I can prove it. What's this? What? No, no, this this can't be true. What is this? It's the truth, Judy. Your father is a bad man and he needs to be stopped. Sometimes we're so focused on our enemies that we forget to look at those closest to us. Why now? Why give this to me now? Connery is on to me. They know I've been snooping around. This was the only file I could find, but there's a bigger plan at stake here. Pierce needs to know. No. He needs to. No. I mean, I know, but I need to do a bit more digging. I can't be sure of the whole operation yet, though somehow I think Blofeld is involved. My, my mother isn't dead? I don't know, Judy, but trust me, this file is genuine. I need you to finish what I've started. Connery's up to something. Your dad cannot be trusted. No, this is your crusade. This is not my... Don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. Pierce is not the villain here. I, I need to go and see my father. I need to finish this. This is why I have pockets. No matter what you do, you don't have to breathe! <laughs> <laughs> he 
Did you just try and stand up to me? What? Oh, well. You really are a piece of shit, lad. Ah! 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 Oh, that was good. Oh! Ah! Do you think this is funny? Oh! oh. oh. How about oh. I feed you what you seem not to value? No, cut the penis, please. When I'm through with you, they won't call you penis anymore. They'll call you eunuch. Snip, snip. Ah! For fuck's sake! Come in. About fucking time, Lash. Oh. No, no, you go. Don't let me keep you. Oh! <sighs> this is it, Lash. Everything I've taught you, everything we've done together, has all led up to this. Yeah. Take my weapon. Use it. Strike him down with all of your hatred. No, Judy. Don't be like him. Listen, what happened that night? In the garden with Blofeld and I, it, it was an accident, I swear. That's it. Do it. Do it. Let the hate flow through you. <clears throat> Do it. Come on. Do it. This is what I trained you for. What? Oh. Your name's Billy Penny. I'm here to get you out of here. What? Come on. Whoa! Oh! Hurry up, kids. Have a hot all day. Give me a minute. Oh! Just missed him. <laughs> we'll send you a postcard from beyond the grave. <laughs> Timothy, Daniel, let's go. <laughs> Penis is dead, loser. That last hand nearly killed him. What? This? No. No. No! Got away again! You are such a disappointment to be lass! I'm
but I did the best I could. Ah, don't! Avoid the question. Baby girl. Protégé. I feel like there's things that happen with my mother. You're not telling me. We were gonna start a family, but penis got in the way. What really happened between my mother and Pe... Pen... Pierce? What? Is my mother really dead? Okay, you listen here. You know what happened. Penis killed your mother. What happened to the dad that used to feed the ducks and then afterwards we'd shoot them? Or the dad that used to tell me bedtime stories or play games of revenge? I don't know that man anymore. Not him. We are not now, but strength, which in old days moved earth and heaven. That which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts made weak by time and fate, but strong in will. To strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. Enough! Blofeld didn't even want you anyway. If it wasn't for me, you'd be adopted by now. Well, maybe I should be, because you may be my father, but you're not my dad! How dare you! Right! Oh! What is it? Right, that's it! Come with me. Come with me. You see this? Do you know what this is? This is a door, and you're going through oh! it! Yeah, yeah. What happened? Where's Pierce? Pierce is dead. Again. Didgeridoo! If it wasn't for those fucking plastic surgeons, we would have been there on time. How, how could I let this happen? I failed him. We didn't make it. We were too late. Were we destined for so much tragedy? Don't talk like that, Timothy. You couldn't have done any more. It's not your fault, bro. This is all Connery's doing. There's something I need to tell you all. 
my dad went on. He's gone. The bullet wound finally took hold. My little lecture is grieving. And solitaire's with her. I am so sorry, George. I bet Sean doesn't even care about his own father. Why did I trust that liar? I should have seen past that Scottish charm. Don't make excuses for yourself, son. Sean's made his bed. Let him lie in it. He'll do more than that, Dad. He'll fuck every slapper he comes across. Daniel Lord and Craig! Don't you talk about Sean like that! What? Look, he's done bad, but he's my brother. Show some respect! You're missing the big fucking factor, George. He's insane. He's chosen his side. He's gone with Judy. Son, calm down! George, silence yourself for a moment. Tell me, why should I respect him when all he's done is resent us? Piers, most of all, don't you dare make excuses for him. Listen, you don't call the shots around here. 20 years ago, you would have sided at Blofeld. Oh no, what another mistake that was. That was different. I, Pierce's first death made me realize what I'd done. I changed my ways. What have you ever done for us, you moron? I think you've overcomplicated the plot, mate. George, I've had enough of your shit. You don't belong here anymore. Get out. You can't Come and be with your oh so precious brother. Go on, get out. You can't do this. I just did. This is a door and you're going through it. Get out. George, it doesn't have to be this way. Timothy, it's okay. I know what I'm not wanted. Timothy, you in here? Care to explain this, Dad? Well, you, you see, uh, we, <clears throat> I, when, when two people, um, <sighs> I didn't want you to find out this way. I didn't want you to find out full stop. Santa is a ho, ho, ho. Tiny balls. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh. Whoa! Oh, up there. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, fuck this. Oh, my dad is fucking felt back in my cojones. Hurry up. Oh, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, when will the pain end? Oh, 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 finally. Oh, oh, at last. 
Oh. Woo! Oh. You okay there? Much better, thanks. Are you alright? Oh, come on! I've just had my little rocks whacked by my daddy's belt. Give me a chance to recover! I'm sorry, I didn't mean- Oh no, it's okay, it's fine, it's, you know, just... I need you to help me get out of here before my dad tries to kill me again. Of course, I'll do anything to keep you safe. I mean, honestly, when you were being tortured, I started to realize... Realize what? You really are a sexy dinosaur. <laughs> well, we know where you stand. You made your bed. I was forced to join them. I wanted no part of this. They have my family. I had no choice. I could see what they were going to do to you, and I didn't want you to suffer like they did. There's something going on, much bigger than any of us. What are you talking about? I don't know what exactly, Pierce, but I mean to find out. Well, if it comforts you in any way, I know what it's like to feel distant from a family. What was it, Pierce? Did I get too close? Did I get too close for comfort? Well... Yes. your leaf blower. Oh. Put it back. Oh. But I had too much fun with my ass. My beans. Oh. Ah. Sorry. Well, Green, unlike the plot of Quantum of Sholish, you've actually delivered. <laughs> I missed you, Lord. When are you coming back from that bladder transplant operation? He's been gone five months. Mm. Well, see what we have here. Ooh. Splendid. Very splendid. Thank you. Now a conundrum, Green. Whose arse do I shove this up? All of them. We have one stick of dynamite. How do you propose we shove it up everyone's arse? Phone friend. Craig or Lazenby? Craig. Craig. Lazenby will probably enjoy it. Yes. Well, this gun is blue. My mum's name is Electra. There's a colour called Electric Blue. We'll go with that logic. Yeah. Electra. Now, this is quite a green weapon, isn't it? Green. Yes, it is. Perhaps I should use it on you. No! No. Be waste the pulling of a tendon. It's a very silly gun, isn't it? Very khaki coloured. Yes. This one is for Lazen B. Yeah. And this one, this can be all for all the secondary characters. Blofeld, Money Penny and the like. What about Dalton? Oh, I've got something very special planned for her. Ooh. This one, this small 
stunted, tiny, pathetic little weapon. This one is for penis. Brilliant. Well done, Green. Thanks. Well done indeed. Much surprised. Mm. And now, there is something else we must discuss. What? You and Judy. Yes. You think she's plenty, don't you? Oh, yes. Of course you do. Now, you want to make an... Uh, honest? No, no. Kind? Definitely not. Caring? If you met her. Noteworthy. Daughter, son, product of my overactive loins. Yes. Mm. That's a shame. What? Well, she. I was hoping that you could uh, pull a Teresa on her. Uh -huh. You could treat her in a Vesper-like way. Come again? I want you to kill her! And there is a very specific way I want you to do it. How? I have prepared a very special type of Viagra for you. Oh. And it will allow you to get on a top her, if that makes sense. I don't know. I want you to fuck her to death! That's my expertise of my arena. <laughs> I think I just swept a little bit in my mouth. I enjoy it. A lot. Stop talking, Green. Hi, my lead. Why? It's fine. Why? 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 Because, Green, at this point in the story, either I kill everyone, or I dress up as a yellow teddy bear and star in the Avengers. And I'm not talking about the culmination of ten years of Marvel work. Is that what you want, Green? Do you want a yellow teddy bear? We're in the end game now, and I'm still not talking about Avengers! No. Good. Now fuck off. Okay. His experience with that. Fuck. Ugh. Yes, yeah, splendid. You, my little friend, will be the climax. My League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. My leave of extraordinary genitals. <laughs> My penis pistol. <laughs> My penis to resistance. <laughs> Channing Hugo weaving from the Matrix there. <laughs> All right. You better fetch me a drink right now, or that leaf blower is going further up your ass than it's ever been. Okay. Shut up, Gray. Who are you? What do you want with me? I am looking for penis. What? One moment, please. Have you seen this man? Hey! You, fella. Put the gun down. Leave the girl out of it. It's me you're after. Penis. Whoa! Who are you working for? Stop you, Mr. Bob. Yeah, you better run. I'm not finished with you yet. Wrong with you? What? You didn't think I was both killed? A simple thank you would suffice. I was doing fine before you came along and ruined everything. Listen, you'd be dead if it weren't for me, so I'd appreciate it if you'd stop having a go at me for saving your life. No, no, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm forever grateful for your efforts. It's wholeheartedly appreciated. Sorry, I think I'm just in shock. Allow me to introduce myself. Name's Jinx. Jinx Johnson. Penis. Uh, Pierce. Pierce Brosnan, let me walk you home. Bet your family are worried sick about you. Well, they would be, if they were still around. Thing is, I'm on my own. I don't really have a family. I'm sorry to hear that. Why? It's not your fault. No, no, I understand. I've, I know what it's like to have family issues. 
And what have they done? My dad. Me and him don't see eye to eye. And what about the rest of them? They think I'm dead. It's easier that way. Well, I was orphaned. I've never known a proper family. I've always been cut off from the world. I've always lived out in the country. Quite a contrast to my life. I'm going to enjoy the view and make the most of it. Come on, I'll show you around. Oh no! No, it can't be true! Darling! Wait! Darling, I can explain. I don't want your explanations, Roger! I want the truth! The truth is, I didn't do anything. Is this your card? You and your bloody cards. I can't believe that you did that! I'm not lying about anything! You're lying to me right now! Well, what do your bloody cards say? Oh, you want to know? You want to know what my cards say about you and your painted slut? That's what they say. I didn't do anything. Stop lying! You're lying to me right now! Why are you lying? I'm not lying to you. Yes. Nothing happened. Ah. What, he left some room in his sleigh for you, did he? That is not what happened. Get some milk with his cookies! You know that's bullshit. Did you stick some mince pies up his ass? God damn it, yes! I fucked him in the ass. Is that what you wanted to hear? Was he better than me, Roger? Was he better than me? Yes, he was amazing! <sighs> You're the reason that Pierce is dead again. You never had any time for me. You're too focused on your stupid card fantasy. Do you even regret it? No. So, you think you can just join our team, sneak past me, and then help my son? What kind of sick person does that? I'm sorry, I just got swept away. Swept away? Swept away? You helped him escape! Honestly, I had good intentions. What does that matter now? You fucking fell in love with Penish! That's the thanks I get for trusting you. Enough! Your son is the most wonderful human being I have ever met, and I love him. How can you love someone like that? Your son is more of a man than you will ever be. Well, I guess you've shown you where your loyalties lie. In that case, I have no further need for you. Could you give us a hand here? Hang on, no, you're gonna tear it. Hang on, take it off top. Under the button. Ah, there we go. There we will be. Oh yes. That's my gun. Getting warmer, much warmer, sunny, yet so far. Do you know how much money I spent on this gun out of my own wallet? Every penny of it just to kill you. Head for the door. You were almost there. Now is your chance. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, Monsieur Canary! Many thanks, Nick Knack. Splendid work as always, my little friend. That'll teach her to fuck with penis. <laughs> I'll get rid of her. Well, Miss Moneypenny. How's that for illegal use of government property? <laughs> Get the fuck out of my way!
So, Jinx, how long have you lived out here in the countryside? All my life. I don't think my parents are big city types. All they wanted was a quiet life. Quite a contrast to my parents. Really? Well, I wish I could just live out here and forget about everything that happened between my dad and me. Why? What was so bad about it? Well, he despises me. He's never liked me from the moment I was born. All my life, he's brought me down. I used to be able to go into a room and dine with the family. Little did I know, I was dining with the enemy. My dad. I always felt that I'd be better off on my own anyway. I mean, alone and unloved. After all, it would have spared my family the drama and all I ever bring is pain and suffering. I'm just a nuisance. They're better off without me. No, you're not, please. Far from it. As far as I'm concerned, you're a very brave soul. Your heart is good. I'll never forget how you saved my life. That's a debt I'll need to repay someday. Well, next time I get into a kerfuffle, I'll give you a call. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? Jinx Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the chat. It's nice to know that someone appreciates me. You're welcome. And likewise. Um, <clears throat> shall we move on? Uh, yeah, I think we better had. <laughs> Daniel kicked me out. I got nowhere else to go. And I don't know what to do, Connor. Well, please, come in. So, what do I owe this bizarre pleasure? Hmm? I was thinking, since we're family, that I could stay with you for a bit. Just until I get back on my feet. Right. Look, I know we haven't had the best of times together, but... You're the only one I can trust. Seconds to none, the man with the golden cup. <laughs> and like all artists, I strive. <laughs> to create a masterpiece. How about working it on me? 
that's no problem. Ah, oh, didgeridoo! Oh. By George! I need to phone Sean to see if George is there. Sean? Sean? I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you're looking for George, I can tell you, there are no Australians here. What I do have are a very particular set of pills. Pills? Pills I have acquired over a long career. Pills that make me a nightmare for people like you. <laughs> If you let my Judy go now, that'll be the end of it. Judy who? I will not look for you. I will not stalk you. But if you don't, I will stalk you. I will find you. And I will fuck you. <laughs> Have a nice day. Ah, oh, fucking poor bands. <gasps> Rude. Let George be gone. He's of no use to us. How dare you? No one deserves to be treated like that, especially George. Who the hell do you think you are, Daniel? I despise anybody who defends that bastard Connery. If you don't like it, you can leave as well. There's no need to act like a third world thug. If we don't act quickly, Connery will be responsible for so much more. Surely you want to see his tyranny end? Of course, I want to hold on to the family I've got, but George doesn't deserve that. Forget Lazenby, he's an idiot. Son, you need to control yourself. I've had enough of this anger. I can't forget all that Connery has done. He's put this family to shame. I know, son. But you have to stop burying your head in the past. Let it go. Because Timothy is right. We have to stick together. Why do you both refuse to take action? Why do you both sit here and do nothing? Brother, please don't overreact. We all want justice done, and after everything he's done, do you really think I'd trust Sean? It's in our best interests to stay safe. Fine. Fine. Daniel! Fuck shit, bollocks! No! Leave him. He needs to cool down. I'm coming for you, Connery. How many more, Dad? First Piers, then Reynard. Electra is gone, George is gone, and now Daniel. I know, son. And then there was you. Son, I said I'm sorry. The fact that you keep denying it makes you even more pathetic. How desperate can an old man be? I can't even look at you, I'm so ashamed. Son, please. It's too late to justify yourself. You're a disgrace of a father. It should be you leaving. Ah, uh, my, my, my dear Salacia, uh, how can I help? Where is George? I know he came to stay here. Um, um... Where is he? Um... I get away, my lady. Ah, oh, what have I done? Sean? Ah. Hello, mother. Have you met Tiddles? He's recently had a bladder transplant, you know. Yes, you have. Where is George? I need to see him. And don't tell me that he's not here. I know he came to stay with you. Well, I'm sorry you just missed him. Well, isn't this romantic? Two of us sitting together at the park. Yes, it is. And it's so peaceful. Much better than the brandy. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. And listen to all those sounds. So calming. Makes you forget about all the bad things in the world. It is indeed 
very beautiful. And of course, it's great to have a friend with me to drink the brandy with. Go on, break out the brandy, come on. Just relax. I'll take care of everything. Cheers, mate. You see, the thing is, Mama, I want to help him, but I just can't. Why not? You see, I've come to realise that George has not got much of a life anymore. He's far too innocent. <laughs> Hurts me to say, but it's true. What does that mean? It means... <clears throat> ...that we don't need George anymore. You are an idiot! <laughs> the great George Lazenby, fooled by me, Francisco Scaramanga. When are you going to get into your thick head? You are not wanted here! No matter how many times you change your face, you'll never belong with them! But, Sean... <laughs> You think Connery let you stay because he cares about you? You're just one of many people on his hit list! But we're family! Sean and I, we're brothers! Connery has bigger things to worry about than a wreck like you! There's something coming, bigger and greater, and your whole goddamn family's gonna be there to witness it before they die! Oh, could he? It's a shame you won't be there to witness your brothers golden achievements. They will die knowing that they have lost and that they weren't needed to achieve his greatness. <laughs> That's the problem with Sean. The world's not enough. It was always spoiled when we grew up. Good night, George. I'll always remember the fun we had. Out of bullets, Mr. Bond. Unlike this gun. I'm so sorry, my love. It looks like it's the end of a line for me. 
You see, my family never accepted me for who I was. No matter how many times I changed my face, the one thing that never changed was my love for you. I've been so alone and broken for so long. None of them realize the toll it took on me emotionally. But now, I realize that in my time has come to finally see you again once more. Before today, I thought I had a reason to live. No time to die. Though I was wrong again, because fear not, I'm coming to see you again. And I know we'll both be happy together. Together, we'll have all the time in the world. I'm sorry, Mum. I wish you could see things from my perspective. But after all, there's no point in living if you can't feel alive, is there? Something you're not going to be feeling for much longer. It is done, sir. George Lazenby is terminated. You, you what? He got hit by a train with Baron Savardy on the front laughing his head off. Yeah, I know I asked you to kill him. I just didn't think you'd do it in such an abstract way is all. Well, yes, yes, you technically did do the job and uh, yeah, fine, fine. Your payment will be through. <sighs> Lovely, thank you. Well, Lesion B. Well, this really didn't happen to the other fellow. George Lazenby. <laughs> you know, it's funny, living the quiet life, getting away from it all, really lends perspective. How so? You can just forget about every bad memory. Forest. 
My parents and I used to walk here when I was three years old. They'd each hold one hand and swing him back and forth. They used to tell me these stories, stories about monsters in the woods, but they didn't scare me. Their imagination just made me laugh. What happened to them? Your parents? I don't know what happened. They were there one day and just gone the next. They were all I had growing up. I didn't fit in at school and friends weren't exactly my strong suit. But I don't know where they are or what happened. And I keep just trying to find reasons why they wouldn't have wanted me anymore. No. Don't blame yourself. I'm sure your parents loved you. Perhaps they were trying to protect you from something. They were always so open and honest with me. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, were there stories about monsters referring to someone? I'm just so confused by it all. Well, if it's any consolation, uh, my life has been one clusterfuck story full of monsters. <laughs> What's that coming over the hill? Is it a monster? Is it a monster? Pierce. <laughs> Thank you, Pierce. For what? Being you. Startled me. Ah, oh, Judy, my love. Why do you cry? Both my grandmother and my uncle have died. And the thing that upsets me most is that it's the fault of my father. There, there. You'll be fine, Judy, you'll be fine. Not just yet, Dominic. How can you take orders from that man? Well, I... Oh, I'm sorry, Dominic. It's not your fault. I'm just a babbling, blubbering baboon. I just don't trust him anymore. You can trust me, my love. Oh, bless you, Dominic. You're the sweetest man I've ever met. I don't know if it's the right time to say, but I wanted to confess my strong feelings for you, Goody. I do reciprocate those same feelings. Well, what about you get to know me? A little bit. Oh, you can trim my edge, Dominic. I can be very persuasive. Get off me, Dominic! Oh! Oh! Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. I'm flying, Dominic! I, I'm flying! You're like a dog to a bone. You're drawn to me. Meow. Rough. Make room, little doggy. It's almost time for lunch. Now just get rid of the bodies.
<clears throat> Roger. I want you to understand my side of the story. Go on then. Tell me why you did it. Why did you sleep with Santa? Well, um, things got pretty rough. You and I became distant. Ever since our other son, Max, died all those years ago, you succumbed to grief. Hence why you became a fortune teller. To see things before they happened. To, to spare yourself the pain. Get to the point, Roger. What does any of this have to do with you and Santa? Patience, I was getting to that. As the months passed, we had arguments. You buried yourself in the cards. You drifted off into a fantasy that I was not part of. I tried to help you overcome your grief, but you pushed me away, and so I moved out. That's when you went to live with Sean and Timothy afterwards? Yes. I was lonely, Roger. You weren't there for me. Because you never allowed me to be. I wanted to help you. Not just for our sake, but for our sons and this entire family. It seemed I was the only one who cared about keeping this family together. The rest had just given up. So yes, I slept with Santa, but only because I felt it was the only way to escape this family. That's no excuse, Roger. You should never have committed such foreplay. I know. I am sorry. I, I was an asshole. But try and see it from my point of view. I can't forgive what you did, Roger. Whatever life we had, it's over. What? Hold on, hold on, no. Wait. Look, we're better than this. I'll do anything to make it up to you. Anything. Just give me a chance. Please, I know I don't deserve you, but please don't let Cockery get in the way of us anymore. Cockery? Oh, Connery. Connery? This is about Connery. This is about you. What you and that old coot did on Christmas Day. I refuse to be the victims of the crime of your dick. Goodbye, utter filth. I hope the cards show me your downfall. Listen, wait. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonne This family is so...
Dramatique. You know, Jinx, spending time with you, it really has been the best experience of my life. I've enjoyed myself too. Tell me, why given every other possibility do you choose to let me believe you dead? What are you talking about? Why choose to run away and forget it all? Your family. Stop it. Why are you doing this? What? Running away. I don't know. I mean, given what's happened, I, I don't think I have a choice anymore. What do you mean? We always have a choice. But you don't know my dad. I mean, after everything he's done, how can I face him? There is courage in you, yes. You just haven't found it yet. The family needs you more than you know. I need you. I just don't know who I am anymore. It's like there's this big blank void in my life. Everything that happened in the garden with Blofeld to reuniting with my granddad in front of that cone. I just, I can't explain it. I thought I was gonna die from that gunshot. Blofeld died. Why didn't I? It doesn't make any sense. Was it just good luck? Yes, you're here. That's all that matters. You're a survivor. They wanted you to survive. Luck had nothing to do with it. Well, whatever it was, it brought me to you. Fate was kind to me too. Jinx, run! I am so glad to see you have all returned from the land of the dead. Oh, fuck my head. <clears throat> Piss? Piss? You're alive! Granddaddy? What? What's going on here? Oh, Piers! Son, you're here! I thought I lost you! Again! Piers is alive. Again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for running away. I'm sorry for everything. Don't move, Mr. Bonds. And you. May I take your orders for drinks, Mr. Bonds uh, and Miss Johnson? Jokes on you! <laughs> We're all out! <laughs> He's such a drama queen. You don't have to tell me. So there's two of them. Piss. I don't like this. Me too. There's something fishy going on here. Well, well, well. What a lovely, happy family. You know, Timothy, I fancy a beef casserole. Sean, for fuck's sake. Hello, Peenish. I believe we have some unfinished business. Why have you brought us here, Sean? Well, it's probably something to do with me. I mean, it usually is. This is your dad? See what you mean about him. You don't know the half of what he's capable of. Hello, penis. It is so great to see you after our little gardening session. Blofeld, how can you be here? I thought you died. I watched you die right before my eyes. 
We shot each other in the garden. Oh, this doesn't make any sense. But, but I remember removing the body myself. Uh, which body, Lash? The man who died that day. The man who impersonated a butler. The man who shot penis. That was not I. That was a duplicate whilst I was running this place. How many of you are there in this organisation? We have several highly qualified people at our disposal. Goldfinger, Dr No, Safin and many more. I had great ambitions for my organisation, Mr Bond. We were called The Slice. Such a name disguises itself as a pizza delivery company. Nobody would suspect its true intentions. What were the Slice's true intentions? Well, my little cuckoo, it's cloning. We decided to develop the cloning technology so my business could thrive. But Sean decided to overthrow me. And I suppose you're going to tell us you dressed one of your clothes up as Santa Claus and came to our house with Judy at Christmas. You only live twice, Mr. Bond. And now, we come to you, Penish. Let's find out who you really are. That night, in our garden, the duplicate of Blofeld killed Penish. The real Penish. You are not real. You are a copy, a fake. A duplicate, an artificial being that I was creating to be more like me. As you see, when Penish, the real Penish, was born, I hoped he'd follow in my footsteps. But as time went on, he turned out more like Timothy. So I set about correcting that mistake. So, I'm not real. I'm just a copy of my former self. Son, of course you're real, Pierce. Don't ever think otherwise. Which brings us to you, Miss Johnston. What? What have I got to do with this? Haven't you ever wondered why you don't have a family? Hmm? Where's your mummy and daddy? Have you ever wondered? Well, you see, as it happens, Mr. Hinks and Miss Flex worked for me. They were pretty good. Until one day, one fateful day, they caught an accident at the lab and let the clone go free. That's a very dangerous thing you did. I saw what Connery was doing, Hinks. The real Pierce died. I couldn't let this one become corrupt like his father. Jenny, we can't stay here. Sean would have sent the guards after us. We have to leave him here. We have no other choice. What about his memories? I stole the memory bank data off of Connery of the real Pierce before we ran off. I installed it into his memory when he was still plugged into the machine. So he will remember everything? He'll remember everything that happened up to his death. Soon he'll wake up and not know where he is or how he got there. Maybe we should wake him up and tell him. We can't. It's too dangerous enough as it is. Let's get out of here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh. It's 
Stop it! Stop! Stop! Granddaddy? I don't like all this. All this running, in, running away. What have we done? We've stopped Connery. He wasn't just going to clone his own son, he was going to clone millions. He's taken control. Yeah. I keep thinking about Jinx and where she is. We sent her to that orphanage a long time ago. She's far safer there than with us. We've just... we missed so many years of our little girl growing up. She's going to think we didn't care. She was so confused when we left. Ugh. I know what the stakes were. Yeah. And Connor, we've only used her for the procedure. We were forced to work for them against their will. We had to give her up to protect her. She was only 10 when all this started. If it wasn't for Felix taking her in. We can find her again. We're free. Yeah. We need to lay low. Contact Felix and find our daughter. Excuse me, young one. Are you all right? Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Whose funeral was it? Yours! He goes me, you big bully! No, you murderer! You want more? Fuck off, you little pervert! You will pay for that, my little chocolate crossum! Give us dicks. No. Rien de rien. No, please. No. Je ne regrette rien. No, please. They knew the risks. They defied me and paid the ultimate price. It made sense when Penis rocked up at Christmas exactly the way he was before he died. They fed in the wrong information, and I thought my plans had been foiled. Thankfully, I still had a contingency, a daughter. We have a saying for people like you, Cockery. You're full of it. And where does Judy fit into all of this? Judy showed where her true lodges lay. She started to become suspicious ever since Penis came back at Christmas. She confronted me, questioned me, called me out. She knew too much, and therefore, she had to go. Rofeld never wanted a daughter, so she was mine to do as, as I pleased. And I pleased to train her, to turn her into a warrior. And with Blofeld's duplicate dead, my way was clear to send her down the path of vengeance for her mother. That's when I chose her to be my protege. Penish, he was a waste of skin both times round. You plan to murder us, Sean? Tell us who you've killed, Connery. Electra. Lazenby. Moneypenny. All dead. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. <sighs> Nothing surprises me with you anymore. I'll admit it was a emotional blow to know that Judy would never support this organization. And it was a shame to see her go. But I couldn't keep her around. Not after all she knew. And not after Moneypenny gave her this file. You lied to me and manipulated me. You said you were killing those people for the testing of the cloning, but instead you were doing it out of sport. Oh, wait, shit, Lash. What do you think you're gonna do? I'm in charge now. You would have sunk us into the ground. With me at the helm, we can clone an army. 50 times the size of that bunch of incompetent arsewipes of a human race. Connery, eh? A rather fitting name, isn't it? Now we know what the C stands for. You're a tut, dancing in a hurricane, Mr. Bond. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
You're ruining my move, Triumph Lash. Fuck off. We still have a score to settle. The other founder of this organization is my brother. My little brother. I had to help him broaden this organization out to more than just pizza. But he has quarrels of his own. This is my brother, Ernst Stavro Plochop, and he has come back to claim what is financially his. Blowjob? His name is Blowjob. And what possible quarrel would Blowjob have with us? Uh, 20 quid please, mate. Sean, why didn't you pay him? Pin this on me, Lash. I was in an emergency. Besides, you burnt the casserole. That was one time, okay? One time. You were supposed to be watching Piers but, and doing the casserole, but you didn't. Why you were supposed to be looking after him? It's not my fault. Then d Dad was doing this, but then, then he was like this, and then... I wanted vegetarian. But no, you wanted a casserole. Do you know how much I struggled with that fucking oven? Will you shut the fuck up? Nobody cares about your little domestic. Just pay the bill. Rude. Rude. Shall I just pop back to Casino Royale and win it for him? No need. I'm sure he has some money left from that birthday party. He has a powerful weapon, charges a million of shots, and assassin for second to none, the man with the golden gun! What is it, slice bonga bonga? I see you from my little eye, and my little eye says hi. Where are you, brother? The party has already started. Just delivering my last round of pizzas. We need to talk about the slice and the cloning operation. Oh, not this again. But it is what you wanted for your birthday. Yes, I want it close for my birthday. But... but nothing. After all I have given you, you don't appreciate anything I have done for you. Mother and father entrusted me to protect their little below job, and I vow to keep that promise. I want to help them with the slice and make the slice thrive. But all you care about is delivering pizzas. I do want it to be more than just pizzas. That's why I asked for clones, but you don't understand. I think I'll stay out tonight. The party sounds like a disappointment. And we all cry on our birthday. Ah, oh, stupid fucking blowjob. Thinks he's better than me and can get whatever he wants. It should be me running this organisation. He can't even turn up to his very own birthday. Hey, excuse me, Lash. Oh. Can't you see I'm busy? I don't have time for your silly suggestions. You are not in charge of the slice and never will be. I couldn't help but overhear you were having some trouble with blowjob. I am trying to deal with my brother's birthday party as well as sorting out how to get rid of your little family. I can't have them getting in the way of my nuclear weapons. Get out or I will strike you down. Any strikes like Thunderball. Nicknack, Scaramanga. I've got a plan to get rid of Blofeld and Blowjob. You in? You know, if you wanted some extra muscle, I could provide Craig, Daniel Craig, my brother in law. I'm listening. At least write the check for my brother. The check for £20. Please, mate. Mallory, over here. I've got a pen in my pocket. Want to use it? 
steps. Stay down! My little cuckoo. Excuse me, please, sir. I mean, ma'am. I mean, oh, who cares? Oh, Mallory, you're proposing. I know we developed a certain attachment to each other, but you're really not my type. Shut up, Mr. Bond. Let's point that in the other direction. What the hell is this? It's called a pen, Mallory. People use it to write things down. It's very useful. <sighs> Just get on with it. Uh, how do you work this thing, sir? Everyone, get out! Go! Now! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Fucking cunt! No! Red. So, Jinx, welcome to the family. Thank you, Pierce. I've never been so happy before in my life. You've given me a family again. Well, I'm grateful for the kind words, but don't thank me, because it's not my family, is it? It's the real Pierce. The one that died in the garden with Blofeld. I'm, I'm just a fake. I'm a phony. Would you love me if I were any more than what I am? Pierce, I love you for who you are. As I told you in Blofeld's late, you are the most real man I have ever met. I'm so glad I met you. Me too. Um, actually, I think it's getting colder. Oh, and you're cheating, by the way. I am not cheating. You are cheating. How am I cheating? How am I cheating? Ah. Ow, 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 that is my foot. That is it. I am getting out of here. Good, go. Bye. <sighs> Ah, Monsieur Bond, it is a pleasure to see you again. <laughs> Un moment. Back to you. Ah, Mr. and Mrs. James Bond. Do you remember me? It is I, Francisco Scaramanga, the man with the golden. Um, gun! I mean, the man with the golden gun, Mr. and Mrs. Bonds. Uh, what the? Oh, um. Uh, one moment, please. Nick Nack! First of all, why aren't you holding this tent up? And secondly, why are you taking up so much space? What do you want me to do? I can't be both little and large. <laughs> Ah, so, how have you been these last three months? For me, it has been terrible. Forced to live in this god awful tent with these, uh, uh, the, how you say, uh, uh, the, the imbeciles. Who are you calling an imbecile?
I do apologise for that, Mr. and Mrs. Bonds. The conditions in this tent for the last three months, well, let's just say they make cow pats smell like fragrance. Well, isn't this nice? Penis 2.0. You. Yes, Sean. Oh, wait, no. He's dead. Job shut up when he did. As a wise man once said, always have an escape plan. Nick, Nick, stop taking up so much space. I am not taking up so much space. You are taking up so much space. You are using me as a cushion. Shut up back there! I want to get to this golf course as quickly as possible. <laughs> you know what fancy a nice drive in the country? What the fuck is this? This blowjob, my love. You destroyed my brother in his house. Now it's time to pay the pizza man. It's a shame. I'm such a big fan of yours. You slept with the wrong brother, Mr. Bond. Your sacrifice to be our glory. My men will accept your payment. Uh, it's really good, please, mate. Ha 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 ha. Hey, what's that? Hmm, never heard of a car coming at the time, actually. Monsieur, they don't. Freaking hell! That means this thing, this thing here is a... Get out! Shit! Pull off, Roger! Don't run out! You want an invitation? Get out of there! Ah! Such a shame. One day away from retirement. You all thought you thought of my plan. I'll just rebuild the cloning facility. From a tent? Yes, Lash. With Blofeld dead, there's nothing to stop me. All my plans will come to fruition. But first, I need to take care of all of you. Personally. Revenge is a dish that is best served cold. You're a disgrace of a father. A disgrace of a husband and a disgrace of a man. Pierce deserves better than you. They all do. Look at yourself. You're pathetic. It's over. You've lost. The cloning technology is destroyed. You killed innocent members of this family. It's time for you to just turn around and go home. Go back to your tent. You were never part of this family, Connery. Wrong. I am Sean Connery. I am the head of this family. This isn't your family anymore. I used to love you, Sean. Look at yourself. Look at what you've become. You're not the one I fell in love with. This isn't about love. Yes, I did love you. But I wanted a protege better than penis. I wanted support for us. Stability. He ruined it. You know what? Even Judy could see through you. I, I'm gonna do this, whether you like it or not. 
Oh, for fuck's sake, Sean! It's time to give it up! We've lost the cloning technology! It's been destroyed! Your plan, your plan's not gonna fucking work! We have been living in this god of the tent for three months! It is all we have! No, you, you can't quit on me like this! And we've been living in this tent that smells like sewage for three months, as Nick Nack has just said. Love you, by the way. If we made it to that golf club, maybe, maybe we would have had a chance. We have no home, no food, no money, no weapons. You have lost us everything. It is time to give it up. And no, we're in the middle of nowhere. Look at us. We're nothing, no. We're less than nothing. I'm wearing a fucking shower cap, for God's sake. Oh no, what's this? Do I sense desertion of the troops? Ah, Miss Johnson. <laughs> First your father, then your mother, now you. Then I will have the complete collection. <laughs> Under. You know what? You know what? I've been tolerant. Tolerant of people pissing on my parade. So, penis, it's time to play your golden harp. Oh, fuck this! Oh, Scribbler! Come back here! <sighs> Shit, I really can run. Oh, damn it! The woods! Why does he always pick the woods? I mean, for God's sake, can we have some variety? You know, like like, like a, a ski chase or or an aerial fight or something different. Pierce, we don't have the budget for that. Yeah, but they don't know that. Come on, be serious. Okay, Mum, I'm sorry. Let's just go and find him. Pierce, he's your dad, no matter what he's done. No, he lost the right to be my dad a long time ago. I have to face him. Remember the day when we went to feed the ducks? Yeah, Dad was too busy trying to shoot them. <laughs> yeah, listen, I know life has been hard for you, and I'm sorry if I caused any trouble. I should have thrown him out years ago. You don't have to apologize. Yes, I do. No, none of us ever stopped to think about how you felt. You were the one who was trying to hold this family together. You brought me up. Not Connery. He didn't do anything for me. You taught me everything that I know. Nobody did it better. Let's finish this. I'll see you on the other side. That's my boy. Didn't I? This for 
George and Electra. Uh, this is for lying about blowfelds and blowjobs. Uh, this is for having a daughter behind my back. Uh, this is for Pierce. Uh, All right, I get the point. Uh, 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 Father says. What? Nothing to say? Do you expect me to talk? No. I expect you to cry and die. Fuck up, Rainbow. Come here, this again. I really hate that name. You know it's funny? These big companies like the Slice. They're hard to progress in. Once you get your foot in the door, it's a shoe You know, the minute I saw him, I knew that he would never amount to anything. All of this started because he couldn't be the man I wanted him to be. I tried to give him a second chance through cloning him. Thought he could be a better person. I wasted my time. If the real Penis hadn't died in that garden that night, we wouldn't be in this mess. All of this is because of you. You have brought nothing but pain and suffering to this family. I have anything in my power to support us. What have you done? You're a coward. You never face up to your wrongdoings, and you need the rest of us to pick up the pieces. If you can't grow up to be the man you need to be, then what's the point of you? You're not even real. You're a clone. You weren't born from love. You were created from a petri dish and a needle. That lot would be better off without you. So, why don't you do them all a favor? Go. And don't come back. I am ashamed of you. Uh, 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 
Jinx. Tell Jinx. Tell Jinx that I love her so very much. With all my heart. I'm so sorry that I have to leave her like this. I'm sorry we couldn't share a future together. I'm so sorry that we didn't have all the time in the world. Give her a home. Give her a family. She's been alone for so long. Don't let her be alone anymore. It wasn't me who rescued her that day on the bridge. It was her that rescued me. She was the right on my heart. Do it. Remember, lads. This was your choice. I know. I know. Don't you ever come near my family again! Pierce! Pierce, take my hand! Don't pull that trigger. You're real. You are real. You have courage, Pete. Courage? There is courage in you, Pierce. You just haven't found it yet. The family needs you more than you know. Ugh! <sighs> 
for this. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, you chose the wrong side, Mr. Bond. You're a coward, like Lazenby. Maybe I am, but not for leaving your side, for abandoning my family. This is a tent, and you're going in it. <laughs> Mr. Bond! Get in there! Right, Mr. Bond! Mr. Bond! We can do a deal! I'll buy you a delicatessen! In stainless steel! Do I look like I give a damn? Well, do you know what time it is? Lunch time? No. Time to die. Oh! <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Bond! Till death do us part, lass. Go! Oh! Talk like that, son. Too late now. It's my time now. Don't go, bro. Oh no. Please. Don't leave me here alone. Don't go where I can't follow. I can't do this on my own. I need your guidance. I'm so proud of you. No. <laughs> Well, well, well. You've taken bad care of your family, haven't you? Such a waste. One thing I'll say for Timothy. She was a fucking good mom. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Finish. Finish. Listen to me, boy. You know what I've been through for this family. Shut up. Just shut up. You killed my mom. You, you call yourself a family man. Well, come on then. This is your chance. All of this, everything that's happened has led to this moment. So seize it. Take your weapon. Use it. Strike me down with all of your hatred. Give in to your anger. I swear I've had those lines somewhere before. What are you waiting for? Do it! Do it! This is what I made you for. What? 
you just don't get it, do you? You were supposed to kill me. That's just it. After everything you've done to try and mold me into you, do you think I would ever go down that path? No. But, Timothy! Yes, you killed my mom. But you also tried to tear apart your own family to create a fake one. So you live with it. Murderer. You say I'm the one who's not real. Well, you don't have a soul. There is no love in you. You don't get it. You have no idea what it was like to plunge my hands into the filth of that organization. I meant it when I said I joined Blofeld and Blowjob for our family. What does that matter now? You failed. It was never going to work all this. You're homeless and without a family. You are going to die alone and unloved. You look like him. You walk like him. You even have the same stubborn strain of arrogance to you. It doesn't change the fact that you're a clone. No matter how far you go, you know deep down you're not even 1% the real Pierce. Maybe I'm not. But I am more of a man than you will ever be. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, you stole all this cloning technology from a guy that delivers pizzas. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's like a, it's like a, a homage, a service of celebration to the great Ernst Stavro blowjob. <sighs> well, I hope it was worth it. Pish. Please. I know I have no right to ask this, but... Surely there's a way through this. Together. Father and son. I'm sure you can find it in your heart to keep your dear old dad one last chance. Keep your life. But I'm giving my family theirs back, whether you like it or not. Goodbye, Sean. That's it. Wish my time to shuffle off. You only live twice after all. I wonder what lies beyond. <laughs> Perhaps Timothy will be there, ready to nag me. I might even welcome that. And Pierce. <laughs> the first one. Got a lot of making up to do. Well, either way, better off wash. It was.
So when you're near me, darling, can't you hear me? The love you gave me, nothing else can save me. When you're gone, how do I even try to go on? Hey, Dad, I was listening to that. You need to listen to me when I'm talking to you, son. We have to talk about you starting Eton. I don't want to talk about it. Hey, listen to your father. But I don't want to go to Eton. I want to stay here with you guys. Or why can't I go live with Great Uncle Craig or Great Granddad Roger? It's normal to feel nervous starting something new. You've just got to get your confidence up. Listen, son. Great Uncle Danny, him and Madeline have a daughter to look after. They're very busy, and Great Granddaddy Roger's very old now. He needs proper care. I was like you once, too scared to go out into the world, and I was confused about who I was. But I realized something. You can't control the world. At the end of the day, family is all we have, and we must help each other on this roller coaster of life. We will all be there for you. Those we forget, those who grow old, Those who stumble find their way back. Those who are misled. Those who threaten to tear us apart. Those who carry us through. Those who love and support us. Well, what do you say?
Ah, oh, finally. It's been so long. I've got your use for this. I was starting to overdraw. I was having to go on tablets as well. Black folk just didn't understand. This is what I meant when I sent her one of clients for my birthday all those years ago. 